Today, we are launching the Equity Report, a tool that measures equity in five key categories, including housing, health, education, policing, and the environment. ABC7 has dedicated weeks to exposing the health insurance gap. And the pandemic has only highlighted the problem, deep racial inequities when it comes to accessing health insurance at a time when it is truly needed most. ABC7 News iTeam reporter Stephanie Sierra is here with the story. Hi, Steph. Hi, Liz and Dan. When it comes to accessing health insurance, disparities have only gotten worse across the Bay Area. Case in point, here in the San Francisco metro area, the percentage of Latinos uninsured is nearly four times more than white people and experts tell us the projections for next year are even more concerning. Uninsured and unprotected, Roberto Antonio Tumas Jr. was born and raised in San Francisco's Mission District. He works at Laundry right off Mission Street struggling to make ends meet. It was terrible. I, I um, during the pandemic I lost my job. I lost my medical coverage. Uh, so, you know, I was struggling because there was a delay in all the, you know, resources, uh, unemployment, welfare. In the months that followed, Dumas became desperate looking for work so he could pay his bills. You know, I landed this job and I'm grateful, you know, but uh, I'm making $8 less. I had to find insurance, you know, my own, uh, my own route, you know. Uh, through the Covered California. Covered California is a government program that started offering subsidized Obamacare plans for the state back in 2012. It lowered the average premium cost by 15 percent for many California households. But even with reduced rates, Tumas was forced with a tough choice, pay rent or health insurance. He couldn't afford both. Miranda Dietz, a research and policy associate at UC Berkeley's Labor Center, sees it all the time. Because even with the additional subsidies that are available through the American Rescue Plan um, for coverage through Covered California, there's a lot of folks who just can't find the space in their budget to pay for those premiums or who are worried about the deductible and out-of-pocket costs. Dietz also leads the California simulation of insurance markets. Her team's analysis found 600,000 Californians are eligible for Medi-Cal, but not enrolled. And another 500,000 Californians who are eligible for coverage through their employer, but haven't taken advantage of it. Why? Barriers to becoming eligible and sort of jumping through all the, over all the administrative hurdles can be too much. ABC 7's data analysis of U.S. Census Bureau records found out of all nine Bay Area counties, 4.5 percent of people are uninsured. This doesn't include people in prisons, jails, or mental hospitals. But if you break it down demographically, the disparities highlight the problem. Here are the percentages of each race that are uninsured across the Bay Area. 2.6 percent are white, 3 percent Asian, 4.9 percent black, and 9.4 percent Latino. Roshna Paryayi isn't surprised. Adding the process to qualify through her employer became too difficult working multiple jobs paired with sky high rent. Of course, because the living cost is very high and you have to struggle with to fulfill your family needs as well. Rachel Lynn Gish works for Health Access California, a consumer advocacy coalition that works to promote equitable, affordable health care. We all know that, you know, the health care system is only good when everybody gets access to it, So, which we saw pretty clearly during this pandemic. She says in order to address these disparities, lowering the cost of health care is key. And there's two ways to lower the cost of care. One is to throw money at it, and that's what we've been doing, right, is to, is to pass all these, invest more money, you know, put more money into the premiums, subsidizing them, things like that. And there's also, like, system-wide changes. System-wide changes are already underway. Starting in May of next year, undocumented people who are income eligible over the age of 50 will be able to access Medi-Cal. Dietz expects that, along with increasing affordability on the individual market, will help bend the cost curve and make insurance more affordable for everyone. One of the silver linings of the pandemic will be to increase the political will to pass policies that help cover everyone in our state. Dumas is holding out hope for that. When they should get, you know, all those resources to survive and to stay healthy. 
Now, the analysis out of UC Berkeley also projected about 3 million Californians under the age of 65 would be uninsured next year, and the largest group would be undocumented Californians. So, Dan, the hope is that new law going into effect next May, expanding coverage to undocumented families, will help reduce that figure. Yeah, let's hope those are really eye-opening and troubling numbers that you shared. Uh, Steph, thank you very much. Well, for more on the equity report, go to our AmericaABC.com or grab your cell phone and scan the equity report QR code that's on your screen right now. I'll give you a moment to do that. Uh, there you can find specific data for the 100 largest cities in America.